I love it out here in the middle of all of this water and all of this beautiful sun. It's such a round sun. <laughs> shapes around our homes. For instance, I found this, the lid of my water bottle, and it's a circle. These sticky notes, they are a square, a square. This little box right here, and it's a rectangle. I encourage you to go look at things around your home to see if you can find different shapes. But there's also another thing I want to do with you. I want to read this book. Yeah! Tangled. One day, a little circle, just as happy as could be, got caught inside a jungle gym and couldn't wiggle free. Her friend, a tiny triangle, tried hard to get her out. He tugged, but he got stuck as well. And both began to shout. A square came on the double, climbing in to help them free themselves from everything. He pushed and pulled and twisted, but he couldn't set them free. The rectangle ran over and he offered them a hand. He tumbled toward the jungle gym and landed on the sand. A slim ellipse who saw them was the next to shimmy through. 
but when he tried to get them out, he got entangled too. A cone directed traffic as the points began to flock. The stars all congregated and the cubes went around the block. The Pentagon Parade arrived and did their very best, but every single one of them was captured with the rest. Oh no. A trapezoid photographer took pictures of the scene. A parallelogram felt sick and turned a little green. What a horror! What a mess! The shapes could not untwine. Then, rushing to the rescue, came a straight and narrow line. Right here. She looked at every space and every curve and every angle. She had a clever plan that would undo the messy mangle. pleaded with the others to volunteer. Out stepped a perfect prism and a solid looking sphere. The plan was made. The sphere would jump upon the count of three and the polygons who heard the scheme applauded it with glee. Everybody held their breath. The spear rolled up and hopped. The prism and the line held tight. And out of the circle, popped. Their lever worked a miracle, and all the shapes were saved. What a clever little line. A tetrahedron grape. The line convinced the jungle gym to make her spaces wider, so little shapes would not get trapped or tangled up inside her. The circles playing happily with her untangled friends, this geometric tales unwound, and now the story ends. The end. Clap. The shapes were able to get out of there. Thank you so much for reading with us today, friends. And now, I think Miss Gladys has some fun things for us. So, where is she? Hi, friends. Hey, Mr. Jamal. Hey, Mr. Pablo. As you can tell, I'm kind of having some fun in the sun myself, and I've loved seeing all the activities you all have been doing so far. And I was thinking to myself, how else can we incorporate some fun in the sun while practicing math? And something that we see every single day is the sky. And we might not look to find shapes in the sky. So today I thought we could do a shape hunt in the clouds. Wow, friends, look at all those clouds in the sky. I think I recognize a shape. I see a star. One. Two, three, four, five. I see five points in that star. Hmm, what other shapes do you all see? I see a triangle in another cloud. That cloud has one, two, three points. Ooh, look at that cloud. It is a rectangle with two long sides and two short sides. One, two, three, four sides total. Whoa, is that an airplane? Hmm, what shapes do we see on that airplane? I see another triangle. That's one, two, three sides. I actually see three triangles two wings and a tail, all the shape of triangles. Is there another shape you all see? I see a rhombus with one, two, three, four sides. Well friends, 
Thank you so much for playing this Shapes in the Clouds game with me. Now we're gonna move on to our game, which is called Stick Figures. And if you don't have this game at home, that's okay because you can always use materials around the house to do and create the same thing, like the shapes that we will be creating today. If you don't have these wiki sticks, you can use sticks that you find on your walk at the park or maybe around your backyard. So we can go ahead and just begin by exploring the materials that we have collected to create our shapes. We always want to explore and have fun with it. Once you're done exploring, you can go ahead and start creating your shapes. You can try to create these shapes right here. Maybe you've seen them in a classroom or you have some different shapes at home that you can try to recreate using your sticks that you've collected or anything else that you've collected to be able to make these shapes. And here I just made a triangle. I also have a mat that we can use to practice recognizing our shapes. Maybe some of these you know, like this circle or this triangle with one, two, three sides. Or maybe some of these you were learning for the first time, like this pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. Or like this rectangular prism that is like a rectangle, but you can fit something inside of it so it is 3D. Once you get familiar with these shapes that you can find online on our website, then you can go ahead and move on to our next level. So for level two, we have these mats. So we can go ahead and create a house using our longer and shorter sticks that we have lying around. So here I've created my roof with these wiki sticks. And then I'm going to create some circles that I see on this page. Also, for these curves that we're creating, we can go ahead and uh, grab some string that you have or maybe some other flexible material that you have in the home to make some of these shapes as well. So here I've made some of these shapes and I also want to try to make some pictures that we don't have a mat for. So I'm going to make a squirrel using these wiki sticks, this oval that is going to be the squirrel's body. Here is this circle that is going to be the squirrel's head. And here are these triangles that are this squirrel's pretty big ears. And that's okay because every body matters. And here we have a long tail. So here is my squirrel or you could say it also looks like a cat. <laughs> I'm so curious to see what else you all make at home using the materials you find in your home and I'm so excited to hear how creative you all got. Well friends, our time together has come to an end but before we go we would love to sing our goodbye song. Goodbye so long to you my friend. Adios, hasta luego a mis amigos. Goodbye for now until we meet again. Adios por ahora hasta la próxima vez. Goodbye, Goodbye for now, now until we meet again.